So if you go to sjoptions.com, then at the top you'll see where it says personal demo. Click here, and then down at the bottom you'll fill out your name and things, and then down here you'll click a button to book a time that's appropriate for you. So make sure you fill out the forms up here correctly. Um, if you're serious, then you'll put in your phone number and, and things like that so we can communicate with you. The Option Colors website at the moment is um, still under construction, so I'm not going to show that. But let's go ahead and start with today's lesson. Okay, so here I am in the Option Colors platform, and today we're going to do a test on the back ratio. Uh, most people that I've talked to and that have been members of our program do not understand exactly how the back ratio works, and there's a special way to use this strategy if you want to benefit from its uh, Vega positioning and then there's other ways where it can just lead to a lot of problems. But what I've been doing lately is a series of tests over 2008 when the market was crashing. So the first three that we've done, we, let's see, we did a short strangle and if I remember correctly, the margins went up by 900% in just a matter of about two weeks. And that's, of course, using the TIMS model for a portfolio margin. Then we did a vertical uh, put credit spread, and it had a similar problem. And we did a calendar spread, and I think the margins on the calendar spread went up about 400% as well. And all those trades just got demolished as far as the, the drawdowns were concerned. Now this is a, a back ratio. So what I've constructed here is really a 10-20, I would call it, where I'm buying over here a 10 delta and then selling the inside the 20 delta and then it's really a one by two we have 50 contracts here and then at the 20 delta that we sold we have 25. so there's a ratio of two to one because the ratio between the deltas is also two to one or one to two whatever you get it so this puts together position where your delta is relatively flat just by doing what I said there. And then it actually comes out with a credit. Now I call that the bar. But we actually have a credit here of 3250. Now using the Tim's model, the out of the box, the margin on it's only 2.8 thousand. So it, again, this type of risk model measures directionally down and up and then locates basically the the lowest point on your day step line and it creates that to be the margin and if there is no low point then at minimum it'll calculate 3750 uh, for every contract that you have so the the rule is they put in 3750 to allow for slippage and so that's where we get the 2.8 down here because if you multiply the 75 contracts by 3750 then you get 2812 and 50 cents okay first let's talk a little bit about the risk and how it relates to the portfolio margin so the thing is here if we come down to the bottom we'll see that the vega positions about a thousand in this case if the vols increase then we can experience a profit from that Vega position. You'll also see as the volatility increases, my Vega is also increasing. Now, what's causing that? It's called positive VAMA. So again, this is something that the 
industry is not really educated on something I've studied a lot and then we teach it in our program anyway trade has positive vama here so you can see as the as the volatility goes up your Vega position also increases so th again this is a type of trade you can use when volatility is rising for example let's say right now in uh, 2017 as I make this video vols are at all-time lows yeah I'm not suggesting the market's gonna crash but I'm just saying if you were to start one of these trades now um, and then the market did crash you would get a tremendous increase in volatility and this type of trade with the positive Obama and positive Vega could really reap the benefits of that okay now with the positive Vama position though or the positive Vega position now, is the, if the vols drop, though, then we start to have a, a different kind of problem. So imagine if the market's moving up this way. It, it seems all fine and dandy because you're starting to trade with a credit here, right? And typically when the market goes up, your vols drop. And then since the trade has so much of that positive vegas, the market goes this way, a lot of times you're going to see this sag. And then the other thing you'll see is you have a negative a theta position so through time then the first part of the the trade we get a sag because of the theta and then we get um, additional drawdown because typically as underlyings move up and it's not always but you'll see volatility drop so you have to be careful because even though the trade here is put on as that credit again you can have problems like that so it doesn't work just like a credit spread and the other thing that we'll note is 10% down here you can see is a shows a drawdown of about 12,000 so the thing is through time if your underlying just sort of stays in here or it starts to go up, then what's going to happen to give a portfolio margin, your margins on this could be increasing rather fast. Because if you start with 2.8, as you just saw, it kind of creeped up to 12,000 just from a little volatility drop and a little um, passing of the time, which is substantial, right? Going from 2.8 thousand to 12,000. So that's one thing you have to to watch for. Um, so as far as doing it like an income strategy, there's ways that you can use and capture this type of Vega uh, position, but um, it's rather complex and it's something that we can that we can show you in our program how to do it and not to get this sinking problem. Now, for the exciting part though, if you can actually time things correctly, and have one of these trades on before a substantial bearish move in the market, then you can really um, profit from that scenario. So that's what we're going to see here. It's 2008. I did a few other tests on this same price movement. And watch what happens. It's pretty exciting. So first day, the SPX drops. The period example is 9% and it yields a profit of 31,000 when that buying power requirement is only 2.8 thousand. So it has a profit here of over a thousand percent in one single day. And also your margins are pretty much unchanged because the with the increase in volatility you don't have any sag or anything. So I'll just step through some time here and then we'll see over here we can see the profit and loss scenario so it's 6500 8000 19000 25 53 86 115 so we're going this way we're sort of in no man's land Again, in reality, if you're really trading this, um, it would be rather frightening. 
although exciting obviously at the same time if you're making all this money but you know you're sitting you're kind of floating here with a negative theta if you look down here of negative 2000 and then your vega position as well as 3800 so if the volatility crashes from here and we go back up this way then it could experience drawdown also from the delta position and the theta so again you would be constantly um, just worried about the trade and wondering when you're you know when should you exit really um, so you have to think about that because obviously trading real money isn't just like this but it's still really exciting to see so now you're up 200,000 again with a initial investment here of 2.8 thousand dollars and just by doing a 10 20 uh, back ratio spread which is a pretty decent formula obviously um, if you experience this type of movement and then it keeps going 228 now here's an example of the problem of the trade so as we go back we can see we're at 220,000 so what happens if you're one of the traders who's kind of watching this and wants to get get in on it and capture some of this you know increase in volatility if you start in late like on this particular day again with only and this is again why it's so crucial to understand uh, what's going on with portfolio margin and how these margins are created if you started this though here the you'd have a little margin if you were starting fresh but anyway with very little margin though imagine you could go from 200 down to 68 so you have like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar loss with something with a trade of a margin that might only be two thousand dollars so it's um so these are things that you really have to understand when you're working with these front ratios and back ratios and things like that and you combine it with portfolio margin again we cover this in the program I do what we can to keep everybody safe and aware of the way this risk model works now again the other point i was making here is if you start the trade late at the wrong time you can see how just one single day had a drawdown of one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and then right back up but you see how how volatile it is 255 in a lot of ways you know this type of trading is really a bit of a gamble um, but you can just see how if you get the timing just right I mean it's just amazing you know with a 2.8 thousand dollar investment and now it's up three hundred thousand dollars in just like a month but look at that if you started the wrong time boom it went down to 100 went down 200 thousand one day so it's kind of like playing with fire and see now all the returns are almost gone 300,000 to nothing in just a matter of days so again that's why it's so crucial that you start the raid at the right time um, there's it's a pretty complex spread yeah the way that it works with portfolio margin is is really complex as well in our program we have ways to capture these bearish moves but not with such a volatile approach like this so we have uh, something that's much more refined and thought out and something that you can actually take advantage of um, and use the back spread obviously you can try it but as you can see you really have to just have a lot of luck um, but if you happen to do if you do happen to have that luck uh, you saw the potential just a few thousand dollars could turn into three hundred thousand and that would just be fantastic but honestly it doesn't happen to a lot of people and then how do you figure out you know when to get out because it's so the profit and loss is so volatile on the trade anyway i still think it's really interesting to see and it's just an example of what 
uh, positive vama position can do and how how it accelerates those returns so when the volatility goes up your vega goes up and your returns just it's just exponential it's it's really um really interesting anyway once again um in our program we can show you bearish trades that can profit but they're not so crazy like this and they're a lot they're more thought out and we have a role based system and things but i hope you found that interesting and enjoyed it thanks